There's nothing like playing games with your best bud, right? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Sega Genesis multiplayer games. For this list, we're taking a look at Genesis games that allow you and another player to play the game at the same time. Whether it's head-to-head -head or co-op, if it has a player 1 and player 2 on the screen, it's eligible for a spot. Let's get started. Number 10, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Hyperstone Heist. Kicking off our list is a familiar side-scrolling beat-em-up featuring the turtle dudes with attitude. This game has the turtle stopping Shredder from shrinking Manhattan. You and a friend play as two of the four heroes as you go through several levels beating the crap out of Shredder's evil henchmen. The game was considered to be Sega's counterpart to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time. Hyperstone Heist shares many similarities with the SNES version like the music, character animation, and gameplay, but retains its uniqueness with its storyline and visuals thanks to the utilization of the Genesis processor. Cowabunga! Number 9, John Madden Football Series. Hi everyone, welcome to John Madden Football. Sega has been known for being the home to many great sports titles, and the Madden series was definitely included in that number. The Genesis ports started with John Madden's football in 1990 and ended with Madden NFL 97. Up until Madden 94, the Madden games lacked the NFL and NFLPA licenses to use the actual NFL teams and players in their games. 94 and beyond, though, continued the series with licensed teams, along with the introduction of certain features like player creation in 96 and salary caps in 97. With each title came an improvement from the previous entry, but still retained the same versus gameplay that Madden fans expected from these 16-bit classics. Number 8, Golden Axe. Remember when Conan the Barbarian was really popular? Probably not, but the late 80s and early 90s couldn't get enough of high fantasy medieval epics, and this game was no exception. You play as one of three heroes, all with different playstyles. You can play by yourself or with another player, as you fight through several levels and bonus stages beating up enemies with your weapons or mountable beasts. You can even cast magic spells to defeat enemies, which definitely come in handy in a pinch. The game can come off as a bit corny due to its dated character design, but it's still a great co-op classic. Number 7, Mortal Kombat 3. blood, gore, and violence would be such a good fit for a video game. We all know about this infamous series and how its first game's hidden blood code made the game a system seller. And while Mortal Kombat 2 was one of the finest titles in the series, its Genesis port was atrocious. Enter Mortal Kombat 3, which brought over the babalities and friendships, along with the introduction of animalities, where characters turn into beasts or animals to kill their opponents. It was a fun and challenging game, but it did make the unforgivable mistake of leaving out characters like Reptile and Scorpion. Good thing they fixed that in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Number 6, Toe Jam and Earl. They may not be the most visually appealing characters, but they are one of the most beloved duos in gaming history. Well, at least in the Genesis era. Toe Jam and his bro, Big Rap and Earl, crash landed on Earth and need to collect pieces of their spaceship to get back home. It is a pretty unique setup that's perfect for a dungeon crawler game. You go through levels as you and your friend look for the missing spaceship piece and then for the exit. It's a goofy roguelike game set to the tune of a funky hip hop beat. Can you imagine if all dungeon crawlers were set to this theme song? Yeah, all right. Number 5, NBA Jam. Boom shakalaka! A tight basketball game with swift gameplay, NBA Jam was, is, and will always be one of the greatest sports games ever. You get to play as some of the NBA's top players from the 93-94 roster on their respective licensed teams. <laughs> Unlike traditional basketball games, this game lets you play two-on-two -two matches on a horizontal court for three minutes per quarter. 
having multiplayer functionality, you can play against another player or on the same team against CPU players. Either way, it guaranteed a challenge. But come on, a lot of us only played this game for the insane dunks and the calls from that enthusiastic announcer. Boom, Naka -laka. Number 4, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Back in Sega's console days, you could pretty much count on a great game for its super speedy mascot, and this game sure was one of them. Sonic 3 picks up after the events of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the first game in the series to introduce Tails, Sonic's two-tailed flying fox friend. It was an interesting feature they carried into Sonic 3, but this time the co-op is more involved. Tails can now carry Sonic to higher places to access ways to advance the level or find secrets. But when working together got old, you could race each other in the competitive two-player modes as well. Number 3, Contra Hardcore. And yeah, this game was totally hardcore. Carrying on from Contra 3 The Alien Wars, Hardcore introduced four new playable characters, each with their own unique abilities. This game still features the same run and gun gameplay, but now the players can carry four weapons at the same time. It also included level branching, where players now had the ability to play different stages based on the decisions they'd made at key moments of the game. This gives the game some weighty replay value if you were, of course, good enough to beat the game the first time around. Number 2, NHL 94. So stick with me here. This popular hockey game is actually the third installment in the NHL series and the second game to have licensed teams from the National Hockey League. It was, however, the first game in the series to feature the famous hockey play, the one-timer, when players can shoot the puck directly at the goal off of a pass. Like most sports games, this game allows two players to play on the same team or against one another. Even back then, EA made sure that its sports games had a realistic flair to them, and NHL 94 was the game that brought the heat of ice hockey to home consoles. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1, Streets of Rage 2. The Streets of Rage series has some of the most memorable games that even today players still enjoy. The second installment in the series was arguably the best one to ever hit the Genesis though. You get to pick from four brawlers, Axel, Blaze, Skate, and Max, each of which have their own stats and abilities. You and another player could go through the levels kicking ass and taking names. With its distinctive characters, pulsating soundtrack, and deadly enemies, it's truly no surprise that this game would come out on top as our number one pick for Sega Genesis multiplayer. Do you agree with our list? Which multiplayer game for the Genesis do you think deserves to be mentioned? For more exciting top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.